Hello! Yeah! Got a couple things to talk about today. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is my new job. A couple videos back, I recorded myself on how I got ready for my interview. I was super excited, super nervous, and I ended up getting the job working as a lifeguard. And I'm super pumped about it. Uh, I went through all of orientation last week. It was four days. It was Tuesday through Friday, for me at least. Uh, and orientation was great. Uh, all, everyone that I met on staff, everyone that I met at the hotel was amazing. They pay a lot of attention to things that you like as employees. And their whole thing is if you treat the employee right, you'll treat the, the guest right. And so far, they're not wrong. Um, I remember like the first day that I had us fill out like a get to know you form. Like what's your favorite candy, what's your favorite snack, what, uh, what place would you want to visit if you could. Uh, things like that. And I'm just kind of thinking like this is like a birthday thing. Like, oh, it's your birthday. Here's a Reese's. But no, the very next day we left for lunch. We went to lunch on day two. When we got back to the room that was like our classroom, we had that candy right there just kind of like uh, welcome us again. And I thought that was really awesome. Uh, like I said, everyone that I have met there from people that are like high, high up to people that are just where I am. Uh, they were all amazing and great. Uh, of course, it's orientation, it's kind of boring, things you have to learn, things you have to go through. Uh, but everyone that I was hired with, whether they be a chef or a front desk person, everyone, I, again, I cannot stress how cool everyone is. Um, then I actually just finished, or am about to finish, my first actual week of work. Um, I've been walking around as a lifeguard, which is great. Uh, learning all the ins and outs of what they do and how their day goes uh so it's a lot of like setting up towels uh at stands it's a lot of um fixing chairs putting up umbrellas uh raking the sand for the volley uh for the beach volleyball uh just kind of making sure that the pool area looks nice and that if any of you guests have questions that we answer it like oh um where's your hot tub we have one here and here um, and all that general jazz there, we also get to work with kids every day, which I think is pretty awesome. But it's pretty awesome, like there's activities every day for like 30 minutes to an hour, depending on how many people show up. The day that I did it, we had like these uh, these cloth chimes. I don't know what they call it there, but um, it's essentially like a wind chime, but it's cloth and you get to design your own with markers and stuff. So that was also really cool. Everyone in my department of uh, lifeguard is uh, like 25 or younger, I think, so. It's just a bunch of people my age and all just getting along. That's something that I thought was pretty awesome. I know I'm saying awesome, great, and cool a lot, but like I really, I really do enjoy being there. And I'm kind of looking forward to going to work, and um, I don't think that's like something that maybe a lot of people can say about their jobs unless they like really enjoy it. And I feel like I know I've only been there for like two days of actual work, but like I really enjoy so far what I do. And that's kind of it. I got like my, got my uniform. I got a red uh, red shirt that says like Recreation or JW Marriott. I got a hat that says the same thing. Grand. Um, I'm not certified yet to be a lifeguard. That's my, uh, We have classes that are upcoming that I have to go take at the Marriott because they do training there, which is amazing. Um, and once I get certified from those classes, then I'll officially be a lifeguard lifeguard where I can like sit on the bench during the summers and like, you know, guard the pool. So I'm looking forward to that too. Um, and yeah, just a lot of great things. A lot of great things. So I'm super excited about what's to come forth. And that's 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 the general basis of it. I don't know if there's anything else to say about the job. So far it's been 10 out of 10 and um, it's really cool. I, like I said, uh, I work with my dad now. My dad is a banquet server there. So I, I saw like the other day I was walking through the back halls of the hotel and we ran into each other and it's just, it's odd at first because I'm like, what am I doing seeing my dad at work? But I'm like, oh, well, first he's been working here forever and I just, I'm the new guy. Uh, but it's really cool just seeing him at work. It's it's interesting. There's a, uh, I mean, I know he is my dad, but there's a very family vibe there because I know a couple of my dad's friends that uh, he hangs out with. So I see them in the halls too and we talk. So it's very nice. It's a very nice uh, feeling. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is this morning, the New York Giants signed Brandon Marshall. I know he's 32 years old, but he's only one year removed from over a thousand yard season and the guy is just nasty no matter where he is, whether it be Miami, whether it be the Bears, 
or um, the Jets. He's been great wherever he's gone, and now he's across from Odell Beckham Jr. Now other teams can't double team him. No double teams for OBJ, which means touchdowns and yards for OBJ. Touchdowns and yards for Brandon Marshall. You want to cover both of them and move your safeties over? Well, then we got Sterling Shepard in the slot. Like, it's ridiculous. The biggest thing that's going to come out of this is tomorrow when free agency officially starts and we, need a, and we get, like, a tackle. If we can get a tackle and a running back, hint, hint, Adrian Peterson or Jamal Charles, whoever wants to be cheaper, we could be nasty. Like, if all of that stuff comes together, we will have the best offense in the NFL. We already have the best trio of receivers. There's not one team that has a better three receivers than we do now. But if we can fix, if we can get at least a tackle and a running back, like a name running back, we will be set. And we'll beat the Packers easy this upcoming season. So I'm looking forward to that. And it's just, it's good stuff. It's good stuff. So I'm I'm super excited about the job, about the Giants, and everything's going well right now. But that's all I want to do. I just want to give you a small update. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed the update or the story or however you want to take it. Remember to leave a like, comment, all that other YouTuber garbage, and I will see you in my next video. I am out.